Okay, so how do you change your IP address with a VPN, without a VPN? You can do that very easily with a VPN. And obviously you can also use a proxy. I'll talk about the differences and a few other methods that can easily change your IP address and also talk about the use cases for each way and what the best could be for you, depending on your situation. So I'll get into it. And by the way, just in case you wanna check out any of the VPNs I'm mentioning today, such as Nord, Express and Surfshark, you'll find everything you need in the description down below, whether it's full reviews or links to discounts that'll save you a little more money. So the first method is using a proxy. I'll talk about the VPN a little bit later on because with VPNs, it's actually quite straightforward when it comes to changing your IP address. You just download and install a VPN. Once you have it installed, whether you're using Express, Nord or Surfshark, I personally prefer Express. So you can just go to locations and pick the country that you're looking to connect to. Let's just say for the sake of the example, we'll go to Canada. And all I have to do to confirm is just go to whatismyipaddress.com. I like to use this specific website with a dash between IP and address. I just like the way it looks. It's very simple. As you can tell previously, it said I was in New Jersey because I was connected to that server with Express. And now of course it says I'm in Toronto. So that's how it works with a VPN. Now, when it comes to proxies, you can get all kinds of proxies, paid and unpaid. The paid ones will generally be faster. And uh, the uptime of the unpaid ones, as you can tell, like this uptime 1%, 67%, 2%. You know, the only one that's actually useful is this one with very high uptime, but it's not that quick. And generally speaking, a proxy is not going to offer you the same level of encryption because a VPN will actually encrypt and protect your traffic, meaning nobody will be able to know what you're doing online, including your ISP or government. Whereas with a proxy, it doesn't exactly encrypt the connection, but it still hides your IP address and provides minimal security. But as far as anonymity, you're not really gonna be able to escape what your internet service provider can see about you. Because again, unlike the VPN, a proxy lacks that encryption. Now, just to give you an example, just look up proxy settings on your Windows. If you're on Windows, once you're here, just click on use a proxy server, input the address and port, and you'll be good to go from there. And that's as far as it goes with a proxy. Now, the reason why I don't use a proxy is because a VPN is just much easier to use. I don't have to input my IP addresses manually. And when it comes to accessing geo-blocked content, like services that may not be available in my location, or if I'm abroad and I want to access some local content, maybe I want to catch up with Hulu or American Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or Disney Plus or whatever it is, or any sports event that may be blacked out in my location, I can just connect to, for example, an American server here with Express and I'll be good to go from there. Whereas with the proxy, again, you're not gonna be able to access these streaming services because streaming services can easily pick up on the fact that you're using a proxy and they won't give you access. Whereas with a big commercial consistent VPN, you can do that very easily. Now, another great way to change your IP address is by simply switching your network. So you can use your mobile data essentially. So you can just subscribe to whatever package that you can get and use your Wi-Fi hotspot and that'll give you a new IP address. On the other hand, you can disconnect your modem for about five to 10 minutes and turn it on and it'll pick up a new IP address. And again, you can just ask your internet service provider or your ISP to just change your IP address for whatever reason that you'd like to provide for them. But those three methods won't really change the location uh, of your IP address or your virtual location online. You can only do that by using a VPN or a proxy. And if you're simply simply looking to just change your IP address and get some form of basically minimal security, you can go for the proxy. But if you're looking for full security, full anonymity, the ability to access streaming services and transparency and audits behind the servers that you're connected to, rather than just connecting to some random proxy server, and you never really know who's connected to that server and who's on the administration side of the server. So it's always a risk to take, especially with free servers. So that's why I recommend a VPN because going for a paid proxy is kind of pointless if you can just get a VPN. Now, sure, with proxies, it'll be a little bit faster, but if you're using one of the best VPNs out there, you should be good to go, especially if they have their own proprietary, uh, very speedy protocols, like for example, Lightweight UDP with Express. If we go to Nord, 
you'll go to connection and make sure that you're using the Nord Lynx protocol. That'll be the fastest protocol that you want to use. And finally, with Surfshark, you want to use the WireGuard protocol. So these will minimize any speed drops and you'll barely notice that there's any change in your speed. So if that's what you're worried about, just make sure you're using these protocols and you'll have a great time using these VPNs specifically without any speed drops. Because again, they're very reliable VPNs that will cater to, I would say, more than 99 or 98% of the VPN population. So if you're looking for something that is very easy to use and incredibly consistent and high performing, go with Express. If you want more features here and there, like a mini antivirus and a bunch of other features that can be very useful in a handful of situations, uh, go with Nord, especially they've got the biggest number of countries at 111 countries as opposed to ExpressVPN's 105 and Surfshark's 100. And speaking of Surfshark, this is the best budget VPN that you can get because you're getting a lot of features, even if you go for the higher tier plan, which will offer you a full antivirus and a VPN and a bunch of other features that'll just overall contribute to your online security and privacy. And it'll still cost less than the standard plan with NordVPN. So that's how much value you're getting with Surfshark, not to mention that you'll be able to share it around with as many friends and family members as you would like, because it allows for unlimited simultaneous connections, unlike ExpressVPN's eight device limit and NordVPN's 10 device limit. So that'll be it for my recommendation and how to change your IP address with and without a VPN. And again, if you end up getting any of these VPNs, I'll be sure to leave some discount links below to help you save a little more money and also link some reviews in case you'll like to learn a little bit more about them. Besides that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.